my mind, is so important because what it does is it looks at how do you take the whole community with you. And believe me, I can't say enough about my admiration for the project that Home Baked is undertaking. But this is how it has to happen if we're going to retrofit. We're never going to do it by 2030, but we might get there by 2050 with a lot of goodwill. So um, th th this is the point of, of coming back to this. So I'm not actually giving the talk that, um, that I got from, um, from Home Baked when I was there, but I have picked out some really important information from it. So I'm just finding my notes here. Um, so, right, um, housing in Anfield, which is the next. Um, uh, really started from this community bakery, which was going to be, I think it was going to be knocked down, and the community got together and have got it going, and it is now, I believe, a thriving bakery. Um, but what they also did was to make it into a community hub. Um, so, Anfield is the fourth most deprived area in the region. Um, it's sufficiently poor that its chippy only opens on match nights because there isn't enough money in the community for people to use it every day. Um, and Home Baked began as a community group and they've gone on to thrive as their community hub. So the next slide is... Um, this. The, the homes that were pro uh, provided in Anfield, including this house here, they were built in about the 1880s. They were designed for coal fires and they were designed to be a bit leaky because if you have a coal fire you need to have a, a reasonable level of, of exchange of air. So they're absolutely not designed to be eco-friendly. So this is a really big project. Um, so the next slide, Rachel and Tom. Didn't put Tom, a capital letter for Tom. Apologies to Tom. Uh, have been completely instrumental in getting this going. And the aim of the... Anfield Cozy Homes Club is to create change that can be replicated. Um, they were able to begin this work because of a research and innovation grant and it's involved extensive research into the barriers preventing people from engaging in retrofit. So the government has had provided quite a substantial pot of money. I mean, nothing like we'd need to have, but a substantial pot of money nationally for retrofit. It's not being used. So they wanted to work out why it's not being used. And I won't go into a lot of them, but the forms are complex. Uh, you have to absolutely fit the criteria. So for example, there are uh, grants for air source heat pumps but it has to be the right sort of air source heat pump. And if you think your home may overheat, you can't get one that, uh, a grant for one that also includes a cooling system, for example. So there are a whole raft of difficulties in the way. So they've done a lot, a lot of research around that. And they've uh, also worked and had a huge research project to take the community with them. So they found things like, you know, the government promises money, but nothing ever happens. So they had to drill down into understanding why does nothing ever happen. And they had a massive amount of help from the University of Liverpool, who did some work on that. So this one, for example, they used thermal imaging to try and look at, uh, to show people what it actually looks like um, to have a thermal image and where you lose heat. So if you look at the top right one, 
that is someone's front door from outside. So you can see on the edge of it where the windows are, they're where you're losing heat. You can see slightly around the door frame, that's where they're losing heat. That's on the right hand side at the top, that's the same door from the inside with all the heat in. Um, the bottom one, um, on, the, um, on the left, I think that's the inside of a home, and on the right, just for comparison, is a person. Um, the point there was, even when you're cold, you're losing heat. So, um, you know, it's, it's a really major project. You need to have the thermal imaging uh, uh, equipment. I mean, people tell me that thermal imaging isn't the full answer, but it's one way that really shows people you're losing heat from your house. Um, so what they did in Anfield was to have huge di uh, dialogues with members of the community, through to local councillors, all facilitated by people who were trained to host all this by people from the University of Liverpool. So what they've done is they've skilled up local people to engage their community. So they're the people who are known on the ground, they're the people who are the movers and shakers locally, who may not have been to university, but they've got huge skills. And some of what they found were examples like this. You know, it's quite shocking to read. Um, you know, I, I, I thought I was um, depressed, but actually I'm just fucking cold. So um, that's just off the, that's just off the thing. So, the, I mean, all this um, took a long time. It took a lot of work to engage the community to get this far. And their dialogue is captured in this picture. So what, they, what you've got here is an interactive map that looks at how, how things fit together, together, how energy affects health, how it affects community, how it affects housing, how it affects retrofit, and how it all links to the bigger picture, so that they had a really good grasp of what they were trying to deal with in order to get where they want to be. Um, so, oh, yeah, so I think the children will be popping in any minute, but just to say on this one that the video that we will be showing, um, which hopefully Tilly will be able to access, is, um, right, it is the one that Rachel suggested we see, just to give you a flavour of the sorts of things that they were talking about. It's the first one on... Is it audio? Yeah. I hope you could hear that okay. For some reason the speakers weren't connected. Um, but, um, yes, so uh, this is just some of the team members um, and uh, in fact, it includes um, someone from Preston who come to talk about the, the work they're doing that's similar in Preston. Um, what I hadn't realised, and um, I think there was some, there's someone from London as well, this is actually at the forefront nationally of what's happening. Um, this isn't just us catching up. This is how far we are behind in retrofitting homes. So, um, you know, we can be really proud of Anfield doing this. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, some of the people on there are from Anfield. Um, and um, just move on. Um, yeah, we they collected um, information that they knew about of, about things that are going uh, uh, that are happening. And um, that we, I think the last one is a list of of those written up there, so that if you want to take a picture, these are things that you might um, consider going to if you're thinking of retrofitting your home. Um, also over there, and we're hoping that more people will add to it, um, these are things, that retrofitting projects that are already going on, and you may, at the end of the day, wish to take a picture of that.
that as well, just to give you some idea of, if you're wanting to do it, these are the places to look at. You know, I, I think it was about a year ago, I had someone come to me saying, you know, um, I've just moved to Liverpool, how would I go about retrofitting, which firms can I get in to just retrofit my home? And I didn't know, so we're starting to collect together the information that might help someone who moved in that way again. And um, please do contribute, however small you think your venture is, please do let us know about it on the white cards that can go on the table and plotting where these things are on the map. So thank you very much and I think the next thing